Hey everybody, it is a brand new work week and we are here with you with the 10 TV Weather Impact Show. Meteorologist Meredith Garfalo with meteorologist Aaron White. Hey. What a weekend of warm weather. Yeah, a little uh, warm weekend, a little busy one with uh, some storms back on Saturday, but hey, it was still nice for many to enjoy, especially yesterday with the, uh, you know, the Clippers game and a lot of people were, were out there. there. I was out there and uh, so enjoying the sunshine and 70s, so perfect uh, weekend after the storms cleared out. And we're talking about a little bit of rain this morning. Yes, and thankfully all that moves out as we head into the afternoon. Afternoon. So the rest of the day should actually be clearing up, but the winds, they're going to be sticking around for us. But it is those warm winds that's going to help boost our temperatures up. Our next rain chances, though, not going to be until we get into the end of the week. So you can see what's left of what moved through this morning now pushing out. As we head into the afternoon, there's clearing behind it, maybe a few isolated showers. But again, for the most part, it is going to be dry for us for the commute home, which is a different story. This morning, we did have some of that rain unfortunately while people were trying to head to work and the kids were heading to school but you can see we stay clear though for tonight which coming up in a little bit we'll talk about a meteor shower that you might be able to catch a glimpse of especially if you're out in some of the more rural locations and then as we go overnight into your Tuesday you can see maybe a few higher clouds passing through our southernmost counties by Tuesday morning but mostly sunny skies for us throughout the day which I don't know about you I'm definitely looking forward to some sunshine in our region now skipping ahead though I did say another storm system System is coming in. This is the current models and the current track. And again, we're days out, so this still could change. But as we go into your Thursday, you can see most of the day on Thursday, winds out of the south southeast, which will bring in some very warm air, keeping us in the 80s for several days, Wednesday and Thursday, most likely. But we do have some shower chances looking to kick up as we go overnight. But the better chance for rain, I'll stop the clock here at 1230 on Friday. You can see coming through and could even have some heavier downpours at times. So if you're looking to mow the lawn, get out and play around a golf. I would definitely do it Tuesday, Wednesday, or the first half of Thursday. You can see Friday is looking to be a, a very wet and soggy day, lingering into Saturday. But the good news is things clear out on Saturday, but you can see the wind shifts and coming more out of the north northeast, which would bring in some cooler weather for us. But for today, again, after the morning rain and storms, things quieting down and drying out for the most part. 76 for the afternoon high. It will be breezy, and that will linger into tonight. But those mostly clear skies will be great for stargazing and overnight low right around 50. So not cold, but a little bit cooler than what we woke up to this morning. For tomorrow, plenty of sunshine in the forecast and a lot lighter winds. 73, we're definitely above average for this time of year. And as we look at the extended planner, as I mentioned, even though there's a little dip down for us on Tuesday, by Wednesday and Thursday, we move right back up into the upper 70s to low 80s for several days. So a lot of days this week that you're actually going to have a chance to get out and do things. I don't know, Aaron, that just sounds fantastic to me. Yeah, I know I'm ready for Wednesday and Thursday. I mean, having more sunshine, those uh, yes. upper 70s, and lower 80s. And uh, we were talking about it earlier today, paddleboarding. I was thinking yes. about it last week when we had that day into the lower 80s. It was so windy, though, so I decided not to. But Don't also fall down, <laughs> not falling and falling <laughs> in the water. Water temperatures are still in the lower 50s right now, so it'd be a little chilly. But hey, uh, at least we're making progress on uh, getting closer to uh, summertime. Exactly. Now, I kind of mentioned it a little bit earlier, but if you take a look up to the skies this week, you may see some meteors shooting through the sky. We have the meteor shower underway, and NASA says it will be active through Saturday, but today and tomorrow, the peak of the storm will be likely. Five or six meteors an hour will be visible when the sky is dark, and there's some really cool stuff behind the scenes, Aaron, you're gonna break down for us right now. Yeah, so uh, talking about the meteor shower, that's going to be, uh, again, peaking here over the next couple of days. And the reason why it happens, it's an annual meteor shower. Basically, what happens is the Earth, as it rotates around the sun, it goes through the debris trail of Comet Thatcher. So we'll get uh, the chance to see up to 10 to 20 meteors per hour here tonight into tomorrow night. So hopefully uh, that all plays out. Uh, it's always kind of finicky. Every year kind of changes. There may not be as much debris, but hey, there's still at least a chance to see a couple shooting stars here later on tonight. And conditions are looking pretty good here for the stargazing forecast, whether you're checking out the meteor shower or just some star stargazing here. We got temperatures cooling down through the 50s here overnight tonight. 10 p.m. We're at 63 and then by four o'clock in the morning, we're down to around 50. We'll briefly get into the upper 40s later on tonight. Winds will be pretty light as well. So overall, I would say pretty comfortable conditions here for some stargazing and checking out the meteor shower, whether it's tonight or even tomorrow night. We are looking pretty good. 
Exactly. I wish we had an Aurora to go with it. I that know. would make it like the perfect solar yeah. storm. Yeah, so coming from Minnesota, <laughs> I went out to see the Northern Lights so many times and some of those nights they were really cold. I mean, we're talking about, you know, temperatures down into the teens and single digits, but hey, it was worth it to see the Aurora, but hey, at least for tonight's having temperatures in the 50s, not bad for a meteor shower. All right, let's go camping. It sounds like <laughs> a plan. Well, unfortunately, that system that came through earlier before it got here, it dropped severe weather. Take a look at this video from Columbia, Missouri. Now that is a recycling center wow. in the city. I know torn to shreds after storms moved through the area yesterday. And then if that wasn't bad enough, Enough. In Arkansas, heavy winds actually flipped this camper. That's so crazy. And down trees. Unfortunately, people are in the process now of trying to recover from the storms. We're pretty good close around here, so I'm just glad, you know, especially then they're okay and we're okay. Dog's okay. So that's a blessing because people aren't replaceable, but all this stuff can be right. fixed, you know. We always, always love hearing that. Absolutely. Now, there were no reports of any injuries from that storm, so there's some good news. Yeah, definitely some good news. And while other parts of the country were dealing with that severe weather, some areas, at least uh, earlier today, woke up to a different site, a little Ooh. wintry site. Uh -oh. This is a look at Minnesota. Uh, this is in northern Minnesota, so it's not uncommon, but that is snow falling. This is from one of the uh, cameras from the Department of Transportation there in Minnesota. This is around Duluth, and yeah, not wow. a really site you want to wake up to in late April. I mean, it happens in northern Minnesota, but around here in Ohio, if we saw that, I mean, nope. no, not, uh, <laughs> not uh, ready for any of that anytime soon, especially when we've been looking at the forecast and we got, you know, 70s and 80s, but oh. yeah, that was... Minnesota. Those poor people. I know. Your poor friends and yeah, family up there. But hey, at least it's going to be melting uh, pretty quickly for them as well. So still a sight. Um, and yeah, just uh, kind of a wild week of weather. We've so been crazy. talk about so many uh, storms here in the last several weeks and seeing more severe weather here the last couple of days. But thankfully, we got some quiet weather to enjoy. And we are definitely looking forward to it. Well, that's it for your weather update here on 10 TV Plus. Coming up later tonight at 6, Chief Meteorologist Jerry Martz will be in. But until then, you can catch more news and weather and traffic online at 10tv.com. Have a great afternoon.